This video is in response to a question relating to the difference between synthetic and natural B12. The synthetic version of B12 is called cyanocobolamine, and the natural version is methylcobolamine. Now, the main reason why people get this version is it's incredibly cheap, and on the label, sometimes it'll say, I don't know, 5,000% of normal, and people think more is better. Well, the reason why it's 5,000% is that it takes so much of it to be absorbed. Um, it takes four steps for it to convert into this version to then be absorbed. So number one, it's not absorbed easily. But number two, this splits off into cyanide. And you heard me correctly, I said cyanide. Now, I don't know about you, maybe it's just me, but I don't want cyanide in my body. And of course, they'll say it's non-toxic, in small amounts, unless you're a smoker, okay, because there's cyanide in certain brands of cigarettes, or your profession is involved in mining, where there could potentially be more cyanide, or pest control. But for the normal person that's healthy, they say that cyanide is not toxic in small dosages. I don't know, I'm just gonna avoid it in my body because I don't want poison in my body. They said that trans fats weren't bad, and then they found that it was bad, they said that thalidomide wasn't bad, and then they found it was bad. They even said that smoking wasn't bad until they found it causes cancer. The last thing I'm gonna do is have them find out that, oh, we just found out cyanide is poisonous in small dosages. I don't want that to happen. If you're gonna take B12, methylcobolamine is the version that I would recommend. It's bound to a protein, so it takes acid in your stomach to break it down. If you don't have enough stomach acid, um, it's going to be difficult to absorb this or extract it from the food that you're eating. Most animal products like meat and even liver are filled with B12, um, but if you're a vegan, it might be difficult getting B12. So you need, number one, stomach acid, and number two, there's something called the intrinsic factor. That's in your stomach. It's um, a little thing that helps transport B12 into the small intestine where it's absorbed. But if you have a condition called atrophic gastritis, it's an autoimmune disease of a certain cell that makes hydrochloric acid, then you're gonna have a problem with this and you're gonna also have a problem absorbing B12. There's a really good product though that I would recommend if you have this condition and Standard Process makes it. It's called Zypan, okay? I'm gonna write this down in case you ever need it. Zypan, you can buy it online, um, just do a search for it, but that has the intrinsic factor in there and they can help people absorb B12. Also, if you had stomach surgery, maybe um, involving your gastric bypass or something, that could be a problem with this right here. Also, if you're taking metformin, that can create a B12 deficiency. And then if you're a vegan, you're gonna have to get B12 from other sources. You can get B12 from wheatgrass juice powder um, because the microbes in there can make B12. But if you're deficient in B12, uh, here's some side effects. Number one, diarrhea. Number two, you're nauseated. You might have an upset stomach, itchy, rash, headaches, dizzy, joint pain, like really severe pain if you're deficient in B12 or even fatigue. B12 is involved with uh, the production of red blood cells. It's also involved in brain function and nerve function and even the creation of DNA. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.